Hey guys, Sergeant Mario 101 here. Welcome back for more of Mega Man 4. In the last episode, we went through Dr. Cossack's fortress, defeated him, and it turns out that he wasn't really the mastermind behind all this. It was Dr. Wily because he kidnapped his daughter, Kalinka, and forced Dr. Cossack to basically kill us. Luckily, that didn't turn out very well for him, and because Proto Man, well, betrayed Dr. Wily, and gave Kalinka back to. His father. Er, her father. Jeez. And in this episode, we're gonna take out Dr. Wily in his fortress. And oh my god, all these friggin' hard hats! Gotta stock up on weapons. No way. Gotta take them out because they might have ammo. Good lord! I can only imagine what this would be like if I was playing this on actual hardware. The slowdown! <laughs> now that I think about it, I believe this game does have an option so you could emulate the original like NES hardware. But I don't want him to really try that out now. Oh boy, water. I have to use that marine again. Uh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. I did not want to do that. Just trying to go back to the friggin' Mega Buster. Plus, I want to have all my E tanks because, well, frankly, I don't trust myself with the final boss. You'll see why later. Can we please have something else that can harm us other than hard hats. Spikes don't count, even if they are instant death. I just had to ask. I know they can't hurt us physically, but... Ugh, mentally, these are like the worst enemy of Mega Man. Gotta get the pattern down. Thank you, Wire. Tap. All these freaking hard hats. Uh, give us something else, please. Something bigger and tougher, please. I just had to say bigger. Oh god, freezes us. And he's a pain to dodge. Perfect. Just... Perfect. Huh. 
Thank goodness for that ring power up. Even if it is uninspired. Like a lot of the other weapons. You wanna take the middle one? Yep. <sighs> Alright, gonna need that. Do I wanna use the rest? No, 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 no. Rush Jet is way too awful in this game. Plus, over here is actually easier. So I have to deal with those freaking saws. Just worms. I'd rather have to deal with worms and saws. <sighs> Looks like I got no choice, I gotta use the drill. Even though I really don't want to. Not using the jet. Nope. Oh, Eddie. Uh. Come on, Eddie. Give me it. Give me what I need. Thank you. Nope. No way. Buster. Swear to God. Darn it. Oh well. I knew the game was gonna penalize me for not going up there. Not a threat to me anymore. Ah. I know there's another one. All right, you got first this time. energy bar, so I'm guessing the weak point is that little green thing. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Didn't have to use an energy tank.
Only two levels? Dr. Wily's kinda cheap this time. And again, that's probably because he had to share what Cossack. <laughs> Okay, well, we still got enough to afford enemies. I'll admit, that got me off guard. Want that drill. I'll just save those. Now I gotta cut back up there anyway. use that, especially since the fact that he's gonna leave some energy behind. In fact, since he's gonna do that, I might as well just... Yeah. I gotta conserve the Pharaoh. Think this is Pharaoh Man, actually? No, Dust Man. Alright. RING! Turn you back into scrap metal again! You're so defiant! Hey, Toad Man! What would he be weak to? Would be weak to drill, but... I want to save the drill up, actually. Plus, I could just do it like this. Because you are pathetic, Toad Man. You give a bad name to. Okay, well, you hit me because I'm stupid. But, I was gonna say, you give a bad name to frogs. Because I actually freaking love frogs. I want one as a pet. But, I digress. Alright. I'm gonna light up your life, bright man. before. Nope. Uh, I should wait for him to hit the ground first. Okay. And avoid his friggin' shot. Oh, well. I'll have just enough to recover after defeating him again. So, Faraman, are you uh, upset that that uh, Sphinx mini-boss never made it into your stage? 
because I know I am. <sighs> Alas, what can you do? Blow yourself up. Diving time! You're not the only one diving, Drill Man! Ow! Okay, he's kicking my ass. Of course, that doesn't work when that happens. Why are these guys impossible to jump over? I want to conserve my ammo and not use an energy tank. Do I have to use a charge shot? Okay. I don't even want to imagine what fighting that guy is like without a weapon. Should leave Dive Man. Uh, I'll wait till I'm low on health. I don't think, but I wonder what fighting him with the Russian Marines is like. But I'm not curious enough to nearly get myself killed, so I'm not gonna bother. Boss time. This is probably going to be hilariously bad. You guys just wait. Big ass ship. Fire a bunch of rounds at us and miss. Just be very patient. This might look easy, but just wait. Because, as I'm sure you guys have guessed by now, there's another phase. And the next phase, after this one, is a lot, lot more difficult. Here we go! This is why I wanted to save up on my drill. Please hit, please. Oh, man. This boss... Let me tell you, when I was practicing fighting this boss, it was embarrassing. In fact, I guess I'm just gonna have to use a charge shot, because that's the easiest way to hit him. Because everything else just will not reach. Yep. I'm probably going to use up at least three energy tanks on this fight. Gonna have to use the weapon that caused such great controversy with this game. I'm sorry if I'm being quiet here because I'm really trying to focus.
God, this is so embarrassing! <sighs> Screw. That. Fight. But of course, it's not over. What, nothing to stock up? Yep. <sighs> I guess he's officially broke. Anyway, going down again. I was gonna say, where's the friggin' whatever that acid stuff wasn't. I need that. I really need that. That's pretty much what these things are for. To stock up. I was gonna say, where are those acid things from Mega Man 2 that made you take a crap ton of damage? And this is the first Mega Man game to have a unique final boss theme. Pretty cool. Hit him. Okay, I can't fire straight down. Oh! Excuse me, Wily. Hey! No, you are very rude, Wily. Oh no, I healed during a boss fight. Or no, I rewound during a boss fight. I've sinned! You would stop moving, please. <sighs> I've gotta save one for Eddie! Please let me save one for Eddie. Yay! And I'm just gonna walk over here because the plot demands it. Why do I say that? Because... Dr. Wily... I don't know what to f***ing say. Go off, Wily, so you can get more money to build seven more frickin' castles. Alright, back to the train. And that was Mega Man 4. Bamboo. What do I think about this game? Well... I mean, it's not bad on a game on its own, but as a Mega Man game, you could definitely do see the decline in quality compared to the previous entries, especially 2 and 3. Again, not saying this is a bad game, but as a Mega Man game, especially at the time this game came out, same year as the Super Nintendo, in fact, over a year if you count the Super Famicom, times were starting to change, in fact. I don't know if Capcom didn't realize that because the next two games after this were still on the NES. 
In fact, I don't even think we got a Mega Man game on the Super Nintendo till 1995. Actually, well, I'm thinking of Mega Man 7. Then there was Mega Man X. But, will I ever get around to those games? Eventually. <laughs> but as for Mega Man 4, again, it's not a bad game, but you could definitely do see the decline in quality from this game. Bun bun. <laughs> These have to be nicknames, they just gotta be. TK. And now, time for an awesome remix of Mega Man 2's title theme. I'm going to assume those names under there are the people who designed them. Now that I think about it, there were a lot of fan submissions for these older Mega Man games. Like, a LOT of submissions! One of them, I think, in fact, made it into Mega Man... I'm trying to remember, I think it was 6? I can't remember which Robot Master it was, though. Or even if it was a Robot Master. I'm pretty sure it was. But either way... Let's just keep looking at these Robot Masters. Ringman! You were one of the tougher ones. Dustman! You're in the scrap heap. <sighs> I didn't know what to say for Diveman. Skullman! You almost kicked my ass in that fortress. Are we going to see Fish Man? Probably not. I guess they ran out of ideas for music tracks, so they just had to remix Mega Man 2. They probably were running ideas, considering the fact that the soundtrack in this game is not as great as the uh, other games, but it, anyway. I digress, that was Mega Man 4. Thank you, Eddie. I gotta go get you your cold one. So, <laughs> let me go do just that. I'll just see you guys on my next Let's Play. Goodbye.